How do you calculate the slope of a line? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And when it comes to calculate slope, it kind of gives you an idea as to what direction the line is going. It can be positive, negative, zero, or even undefined. But here's the formula that's associated with slope. The letter that's used is always the letter M. And you need two points, an initial point and a terminal point. Now, because the initial point is the point that you're starting out with, it has ones as subscripts. So you have x1, y1, and the terminal point, because that's the point that you're ending with, has twos as subscripts. So it's x2, y2. Now the slope formula basically has you subtracting the y coordinates on top and the x coordinates on the bottom. But if you notice, the twos, the coordinates representing the terminal point, is the one mentioned first, minus the initial. So it's the terminal coordinates minus the initial coordinates. Now, what this gives you is a ratio known as rise over one, run. Rise is the vertical motion. Run refers to the horizontal motion. So here's the case in point. Suppose you have two points, two, three, and seven, negative one. Now, the two, three is your initial, and seven, negative one is your terminal. Basically, just plug in the formula like it's written, and you'll be good to go. So you have y2, which is negative one, minus y1, which is three, over x2, which is seven, minus the x1, which is two. So just do the subtraction. Negative one minus three is negative four, and seven minus two is equal to five. So the slope between these two points is negative four fifths. Now because you have a negative number for slope, that means it is a decreasing line, which means the line is on a decline. So my name is Jimmy Chang, and that's an example as to how you calculate slope.